I'm Paul, a student at Glen Forest Secondary School. For the past five months, I've been working at Bradford Productions, uh, one of Canada, Canada's leading independent production companies for television broadcasting. I've had a ton of fun. I've learned so much. Every day it's been something new here or there. I've been out on shoots. I've been working in the editing suites with uh, Dave White. Um, and I've been watching Brad produce TV shows. And I had the lucky experience to be here while a show was created from just the footage to being aired pretty soon. So it's been great, lots of fun, uh, great people here. So I just put together a quick video of uh, the different careers that put together a production company and make it work so smoothly as such as Bradford Productions. We started in uh, 1984. I got into the business 40 years ago in the 60s and I always wanted to be a sportscaster. And first I worked in news and then I cut my teeth in radio at CKAY Radio in Toronto and became a sportscaster. And then I realized I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life doing the scores. I wanted to tell stories. So I thought, I'm going to start my own business. And what happened, the station I worked at, they eliminated sports. So I was out of a job. And I went home with a smile on my face. And my wife said, why are you smiling? You're out of a job. I said, because now I can do what I want to do. It's very hard to walk away from a paycheck, right? So we started Bradford Productions. And it's called Bradford Productions because my middle name is Bradford. So my mother was, uh, was very happy. I used to work for British Airways. I did reservations for about eight years when I met Brad. And then he had a change in jobs and um, decided to, we, he dreamed up World of Horse Racing, was our very first production. So in 1984, we got incorporated and started our own business. Started working together. Started out of the uh, trunk of our car, middle bedroom of our house, the place in the Danforth, and uh, then we came here. So it's been about, as long as we've been married, 28 years, we've had uh, Bradford Productions. The philosophy here is everybody's a producer. You know, it's a, it's a small company. Uh, my wife, you know, keeps us all out of a ditch and she looks after the place. 90% uh, of the people that work here are all freelance, but they work regular freelance, are cameramen, and they've been around for 20 years with us. The same group of people have been together, and we, everybody's a producer. The producer that goes out with the cameraman, he's got to tell the cameraman what store he wants to get, and then the cameraman will get those shots. We'll come back to Dave White, our editor, and we'll say, this is a story. We leave him, he produces that part too. So everybody's a producer on this show. Everybody works together. The cameramen talk to the editors back and forth. Everybody's always talking with one goal in mind, and that's trying to turn out the best product that we can turn out. In fact, our other philosophy is our job is making people happy. Well, I got into video editing uh, when I started college in 1991 or so. Uh, but I actually, my interest started probably when I was about eight or nine years old. I saw uh, something on television that, that showed how to do uh, uh, special effects for, uh, you know, uh, television shows and movies, and I thought that was really interesting. So that's when I decided that I want to get into that industry. Um, and in high school, I took film classes, and then in college, I took a uh, media arts program, which gave me the editing skills that I use every day. Work here at Bradford Productions is, uh, is, is fantastic. Um, my, my background has always been working for the big, big companies, uh, the equivalent of um, you know, CTV, Sportsnet here in, in Canada. Um, and this is the first time I've actually worked with a pr smaller production company. And to be honest, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, there are no cons to it. It's all, there are only pros. Um, it's, the, you know, it's a fantastic company to work for themselves. Everybody involved in the, in, in the company is great, to, great fun to work with. You know, being the web, the online producer here is, is fantastic. An editor is fantastic. It allows me to go out and do my, my uh, producing and directing role out in the field and allows me to um, you know, express my opinions and, and uh, really get into the, the bowels, as it were, of the motoring industry. So uh, it's great. I'm absolutely love it here. I've been working at Bradford Productions for over 10 years now. I uh, started my career as a freelance editor and worked at several other places. 
uh, including TSN and Discovery Channel. Um, but then I made the transition to Bradford Productions, uh, obviously in about uh, the year 2000, and I've been here ever since. I love everything about it. I love coming together for a story. I love sitting in the edit suite and going through all the footage. Uh, I enjoy watching Dave bring it to life through his editing. And I enjoy meeting the people we're telling stories about, because that's what we do here. We tell stories. And when we make people happy, as I said before, that's our job is making people happy. It's great. And the other thing that I dislike in any business, which we don't do here a lot, we don't have a million meetings. We don't have people sitting around having meetings. We can just be walking around or having lunch and someone comes up with an idea or someone has a problem, we discuss it. And that's the good thing that I like about working in a company this, this size rather than living in a big network where you're part of a huge culture. I think we turn out some really good work. Working for an independent has its pluses and minuses just like working anywhere else. Uh, on the plus side, you have the ability to be uh, much more in control of the project. You have a lot more creative freedom, uh, which is something that I think is important. The hours are more flexible, the working environment is more flexible, um, and you don't have to have meetings every other day. So, you know, there's a lot of positives. Some of the negatives are potentially, uh, often I have to work on my own a lot. So I work in a vacuum, so sometimes I don't have the opportunity to bounce ideas off of other, uh, other creative people. Since 84, we have done, just check our website, Bradford Productions, as you know have, we have done so many productions. At one point, we did three weekly shows out of here. To pick a favorite is almost impossible. Motoring, when we came up with motoring, the phones rang off the hook. It was like, we wanted to do a motoring show. The stuff we have done is not rocket science, we just went ahead and did it. Motoring 2011 on TSN is brought to you by Michelin, a better way forward. Motoring, what I'm most proud of is the fact that we're still on the air after 24 years. And more importantly, we've got the same group of people together. And there's very few businesses where you'll have the same people there 24 years later. Something happens, somebody leaves, you know, for better or for worse, and that's what I'm most proud of. And I think motoring has become a, a show that many people said you won't watch a TV show to find a car to buy. People actually listen to our guys because their credibility, they have credibility, and they will actually purchase a vehicle on what they, what they, what they hear or see on motoring. It's been 20 years for me shooting cars, love shooting motorsport. Um, Brad and Isabel have been awesome to work with. Sometimes I run into interesting interns um, and then sometimes you know um, I mean the, the greatest thing about this is that you never know what you're going to be doing the next day you could be out and about shooting in Toronto you could be out and about shooting in California you could be out shooting in Siberia between video and uh, still photography that's my passion I would say the stuff that's the most fun to edit is probably I mean to be superficial about it, it's probably the stuff where the, when we have the most high performance cars. I mean, you work on a show like Motor and you get a, a chance to see and sometimes drive uh, cars that you would never get a chance to in any other way. So we, for, we recently did a feature on, for example, the uh, Mercedes-Benz SLS, um, which I get to drive. Um, but the, the test drive that we did, I think, turned out really, really well. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, you know, uh, from that point of view, you know, can't go wrong with uh, high horsepower cars. Um, but anything that generates a story, you know, is good to work on as well. So. I've been doing Special Olympics since 91. It's the most amazing thing that we've ever done. To, to relate to these um, mentally challenged athletes, it's what sports is all about. It's not the professionals, which I covered for many years. Special big athletes just show you what sports is all about. It's about competition. It's about getting together. It's about doing the best you can do. It's not always about winning the gold medal. It's just about getting out there and doing the best you can do. And I don't care whether it's sports or in a business like this, if we go into work every day with that thought in our mind, we'll be okay. Paul certainly helped out a lot. He's, uh, I hope he's learning something. We get him to do stuff that 
you know, like uh, assistant editing type stuff, uh, digitizing features and and working on stories that actually will hopefully benefit him in, in his career. But, you know, that helps us out. I mean, I, I need sometimes, uh, I don't have all the hours that I can put in to, to get everything done. So it's certainly helpful to have somebody around who's eager and willing to do the work. Uh, and that's probably more important than anything else, isn't it? After this many years, whenever I walk in here every day, I've got a smile on my face. And people always, there's an old saying, if you can find something that you like to do, you'll never have to work for the rest of your life. And I feel privileged to say, I found that kind of job.